position, oh, he's got his 20% on. He's going to try to minimize this variable. And then what does he do? He falls into the next position, which is him just catching up pulling, right? Can I get that right? What's the number <laughs> one horrible fault we see? Can you do that for us? Broken. You see that? And now, if I have to rock or hang on a big roll over extended, I default into this position, I'm overextended and broken, and now that psoas is working, and I'm not really falling, I'm standing in my two hand position. You can fall from that position that he's talking about, and what we're talking about from being tight here. Okay? So he easily falls here. Think about your deadlift. What are you doing in the deadlift? Okay, you're pushing that hip back. I'm bending at the waist, and this is what we see with a lot of runners, especially within CrossFit, like Helen. You're torched, you're broken, and you decide to start running again. And how are you helping yourself fall in this position? You don't. You're pushing your general center mass back instead of keeping it forward and having the ability to move forward. So it's the same, all of it's the same thing. You've lost the torque. In this case, the, the little torque out the back. So why do you think you hate running? <laughs> I love running, bro. Yeah, you do. Why is it when I when we run a certification or when I come out and work with people with, within CrossFit, they say, how many of you hate running? Half the hands go up. Yet it's probably the most functional thing that we're supposed to be doing, right? And, but we hate it because we're just so wrecked in the strength and conditioning, we're not putting the mechanically correct. Sense. Best fit, let's get organized. So what's great is that as a coach, you can start to coach and pick up more and more complicated movements.